Hey, it's Ruffian, and I know it's been a while since I uploaded. Briar West happened last month, um, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to upload this video like right when Briar West ended. Um, as soon as it ended, I was off to my boyfriend's to watch his dogs, so I didn't have any of my ponies or camera equipment or anything with me when I was watching the dogs, so now we're here. Um, but anyways, this is gonna be my haul video from Briar West. Um, both my mom and I went and we both bought horses. So, there's going to be a lot of horses in this video. It's going to be fairly long, but yeah, let's just get started. First is this big bag of stable mates. Um, there were also room sales at Briar West. Um, so there were people who had the rooms open and they, could, you, and they would have like horses for sale, just like Briar Fest. These are all the first release of G2 horses. So we have the G2 Appaloosa, that's actually an Appaloosa. We have the G2 Clydesdale. We have the G2 Andalusian, the G2 Morgan, the G2 Standard Bread, the G2 Mule, which is honestly adorable, the G2 ASB, the G2 Thoroughbred, the G2 Shetland, the G2 Paso Fino, the G2 Warm Blood, and finally, the G1 Arabian. So yeah, that was just an incredible find. I'm a big stablemate collector, and having all of the original G2s is just, I don't know, it's, it's very exciting for me. So the next few horses I'm gonna show are from the Swap Meet, and my mom and I got a lot of horses there. Um, I'm gonna share the prices on a few things, but not everything, because I don't want you guys to know exactly how much we spent um because it was a lot and i don't even think i want to admit that to myself but if it was a really good find for a really good price i might mention it first we're gonna have these customs which were done by cc osborne so first one is this adorable little donkey foal and honestly oh my god he's so tiny he's so adorable i think he's a slight custom and oh my god i just i have a soft spot for or i have a soft spot for long ears because they're just i don't know they're so cute Next, we have this custom rivet, which is a minimal paint, I believe. Um, yeah, oh my god. I have a soft spot for Rowan's too, and this one is just gorgeous. I think I paid 50 bucks for him. This last one is a custom mule baby on the G1 lying down full mold. And oh my god, this is like the cutest thing I have ever seen. He's so cute, oh my god. And now we have some just assorted stable mates that I got from um, another booth. Okay, this is an American saddlebred that was produced from 2000 to 2002. And uh, she came in a mare and foal set. I don't have the foal, just the mare. But I thought the dappling pattern was really interesting. I just realized I can hold them closer to the camera too. Which is probably better for you guys. Anyways, this is a Clydesdale that was just a regular run produced from 1998 to 2001. This guy was a JAH horse produced in 1998 and there were about 5,000 made. Next is this horse on the Belgian mold which was a JC Penny special run uh, from 2007 so he was a Parade of Breeds horse. Next is this horse on the Pasofino mold, which was a JC Penny special run from 2009, so this is also a Parade of Breeds horse. And then we have the World Equestrian Games Vaulting Horse, which is on the G4 Vaulting mold. And all these horses I found for $2, so that's a pretty good deal. And these next two G1s were, I can't remember how much they were, but they were more than $2. Next is this horse from the JCPenney catalog from 1996. So there were about 7,500 made of this guy. He is, oops, he is pretty cute. Next is this guy who was a QVC special run. And he came in a set, but of course we just got the horse, not the set. Um, and he was produced in 2002. Next we have this running foal who was called Spice 
and he was produced from 1961 and then again in 1963 to 1971. So he's an old dude and he's very yellowed, but he was only 10 bucks, so I thought that was pretty good. Next we have this Family Arabian Foal, which is a wood grain, and I'm super happy because this is the first wood grain I ha I've ever gotten. Um, he is a little worse for wear, we did get him for 10 bucks, but he was produced from 1960 to 1966, so he's like way older than me. And then this last horse we got at the swap meet was a zebra, which is pretty cool. I've never had a zebra before, and I know Briar hasn't made very many on this mold, so I don't know, I think it's interesting to be able to have a Briar zebra. Okay, these next few horses we found at the expo hall because there were a few Briar vendors around, such as Aiden's Toy Trove and of course the Briar booth. Um, so these are just some horses I got there. This is a Puppies and Foals playset um, that we got because the foals in there were super cute. Here is a gift collection set that was a Kmart exclusive and we got we got this for $15 which is amazing. Like if you look on eBay, eBay right now, I think there's one selling for like 70 and one selling for like 90. So yeah, it's a fairly uncommon set and apparently very valuable, I guess. Here is a circus playset, which I thought was super interesting because literally the only horses in here are like pure white with flat black eyes. So they've got like no definition to them and I've never seen them before. So, I don't know, I thought this was a really cool set to find. This was also one that we got in the Expo Center. Um, we got this one because the foal had really good mapping, and so did the mom, but I'm not sure if I'm going to show the mom, but I'll definitely show the foal. So this is Man of War, one of the new, uh, newer Briars. Um, we got this from the Briar store at Briar West, and I'm a really big fan of like these old classic molds. Um, these also do really well in shows. And then next is Easy to Spot, who is one of the new regular runs that Briar released. And I got this one for the um, Briar West Spirit Award because I'm gonna go more into detail about this later. But the open show was very much an emotional roller coaster for me. I had a horse break his tail right before his class. That definitely put a damper on my day, but you know, I just I kept showing and stuff because. I enjoy being there and I wasn't gonna let the broken tail of my favorite horse ruin my day. So yeah, it was really cool to be able to win this horse and honestly, I love the long mane and tail on the Newsworthy mold. So yes, uh, I love this horse a lot. And then this is the horse I won at the silent auction. Uh, it's a signed Kuchi and I did get her or him, I guess, it's the gelding version for 200 bucks. I guess I will share that with you guys, which maybe is overpriced, but I can't go the gopher mold, so I needed this with like every fiber of my being. And here, let's make this right set up. Here's the signature. Well, that's really hard to see. You know, I'm just gonna take a picture of the signature and show it to you guys that way. But you can kind of see it from here. Um, so it was signed in Briarfest of 2009, so I'm guessing it's been kind of knocked around the Briar headquarters for a bit since 2009. So, uh, he does have some marks on him, but I'm not too terribly concerned about that. They're not, like, deal breakers or anything. So yeah, I was, oh my god, I was shaking when I got this horse, and I'll go more into detail about it when I do my Briar West experience video. So the last briar I'm going to show you, or the last one I got, I guess, is this uh, Morgan Mare, um, who's a G1 chestnut. Um, as you can see, I did get her for 20 bucks. So I don't know if that was a good price or not, but I really need a good Morgan in my show string. So I decided to splurge a little and get this adorable pony. Okay, so that is it for all the briar horses I got at Briar West. These next horses, are going to be Chinas, so I know not all of you collect Chinas or are interested in Chinas, in which case I will see you guys in the next video. Um, but if you are interested in the Chinas I got, you will see them shortly. So here is a China Belgian, and I'm not going to hold him for too long because I'm afraid I'm going to drop him and cry. Um, but oh my god, he's so pretty. Okay, 
And here is a Lipizan China. Here's what I believe is called a Calico Shetland Pony. Um, obviously not, it's not a breed, but it's just what this style of coloring is called for Hagen Renegers. Here we have a Shetland mom who is the cutest, oh my god. And I have her baby here too. See, look at him, oh my god. He's so cute. You know what, I'm not really sure what breed this is, but he's a bigger guy. He's a really pretty chestnut. He's got one sock on the back. He's also Hagen Renegar. Um, but yeah, I don't know, he's, he's so pretty. We have a Hagen Renegar Hackney Pony. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my Briar West haul video. I'm aware that it was very long and I don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed what I bought and uh, I hope to be making